morning, everyone. This is Dr. Lewin. We're going to do a Facebook Live question and answer session. We decided to do super informal um, answering questions that our followers submit. So we picked one question for today to answer, and I'm going to read that to you, and then we'll give you the explanation for it. So this comes from Ellen in South Carolina, and she says, My daughter has grade 4 microtia, and I know you typically use tissues from the little ear to create the earlobe. Very true. In the case where there's no ear tissue available, what do you use to create a natural looking earlobe? Really excellent question. Um, for those of you who don't know, anosha is also the same as grade four, and that means there is no ear tissue available, no ear canal, no earlobe remnant, and no cartilage. So it creates quite of a unique situation. Um, really quickly, we'll just go over grade one through four microtia. So this is a normal ear, and a grade one microtia is just a little bit smaller than a normal ear. So maybe the helical rim is bent down, maybe the earlobe didn't form, or maybe the whole ear is generally small. That would be grade one. Grade two, I think of as uh, almost sort of like a, almost a half of an ear. So the ear is sort of folded over, and then there's an earlobe, but really the, the true size of the ear should have been like this. So we call that a grade two. Grade three is the most common, the one I most frequently do. There's sort of a nubbin of cartilage sort of towards the top, and there's often a nice earlobe remnant of soft tissue towards the bottom. This tissue is what we use to build this up. So on a grade three, if this is our porous implant that doesn't have an earlobe, we use this soft tissue here. We make a cut like that so we can bring it backwards and then it just sits in real nicely like this. However, um, as Ellen was pointing out, if you don't have any tissues, what are you gonna do to create that? So for anosha or grade four, what we do ideally is, if you look at a, a normal ear, there's a part in the bowl, if the patient has a normal ear on the other side, where we can take a little bit of cartilage that you'll never miss, and it's from that inside, you don't, the, the incision's in the back here, so you don't even see an incision. And then that little piece of cartilage, we make the size of the natural sided earlobe. So let's say we're gonna do that. We're gonna take our piece of cartilage from the bowl, taken out from the back. And then what we're gonna do is, since this is the shape we want, we're gonna place that cartilage here. Now the great thing and the reason why I prefer the cartilage technique is because then, of course, you can bling it out with an earring. That's always key if it's a girl. Um, however, there are some cases of bilateral grade four or bilateral anosha, and there really isn't an easy place to get cartilage. So we still need a solution for those kids. So although it's not as soft and mobile as this cartilage technique, the nice thing about these porous implants is if you look at how they come, it's sort of hard to tell, but there's a bottom piece right here that is the size essentially of an earlobe. And so what we can do is we can create any size earlobe we want. I can add to this or take away from it to get a matching earlobe. And then that in, in itself is covered with the porous, excuse me, covered with the tissue that we use called the flap, TPF flap, and covered with skin. The downside of using this for your earlobe, however, is these implants are firm, you cannot pierce this. So definitely second choice, for a girl at least, um, who may want her ears pierced then at this time of surgery or sometime in the future. So hopefully, Ellen, that took care of your question, and we'll be back again with more questions. Please submit. You can submit randomly, honestly, and we'll save them. And the ones that we think apply to a lot of our followers, um, we will go ahead and, um, and answer for you. And you can submit questions at info at? Oh, okay, I'm being told. Submit your questions to info at lewinmd.com. All right, you guys, thank you very much. Bye.